internet and welcome back to another episode of my hardcore challenge series where I've got some objectives that I've been working on and some strange restrictions such as my restriction that I wasn't able to wear iron armor which I've managed to start actually fixing in addition to the gold armor I had last episode I now also have these lovely pair of diamond boots now, that was going to be included in the last episode of where I got them, but due to some technical difficulties, my entire trading with villagers montage kind of got a little bit destroyed. So, I now have a villager that can make me some good diamond boots, and some mildly adequate diamond pants when I get the emeralds together. However, the uh, main thing that I want to get done in this episode is working on my temple, so let's get on with that. Now I feel like step one is putting in the stairs on up because that's going to do a lot to try to tie things into the landscape. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to actually get back up here to work on it. And it will help with uh, figuring out where to add more dirt onto the mountain because as I decided at the end of the last episode it probably needs like, 50% more dirt, which I don't actually have on me. Also needs a thorough embushing. Did I leave a crafting bench up here? I mean, I did at some point in the past, but I cleaned up my crafting bench when I was done working over here. Drat. Because I got together all of the materials I needed to start working on this, except for one. Actual stairs. Oops. Alright, and at some point, I had a horse. Lord only knows where that horse is, because I sure don't. And if memory serves, that's lined up perfectly. Now, let's just check. Make sure. Yep. That is exactly on the zero x-axis. Perfect. Now does this look better in diorite wool? Or in birch fencing? I think I like the birch fencing better. Even if that does produce a very, very soft set of stairs. stairs aren't done yet. They need better anchoring into the mountainscape. I think I want to redo the fences as the fence trick variant, because that'll help detail up my fences while still creating both continuity with the softness of the birch and with the diorite color. Speaking of which, there's apparently a block of diorite missing. Two blocks of diorite missing.
I should probably have put in more uh, jack-o'-lanterns. And again, there's nothing stopping me from putting in the jack-o'-lanterns I wish to see in my build. Okay, that is just a little bit excessively gold. On the other hand, if I mirror this, it might end up looking less obnoxious on both sides. Still looks obnoxious. Okay, arguments could be made that that looks tacky instead of brilliant. But I like it, at least for now, and when I, and when the day comes I decide that I don't like it anymore, it's relatively easy to remove the jack-o'-lanterns. Unless that continues to look good, or that continues to look just good enough that it's going to stay there without being good enough to convince me that it's actually uh, a good idea. Again, I suppose this is supposed to be a monument to my obsessive devotion to light blocks, and therefore, even jack-o'-lanterns that don't fit, still fit. I now have a path up to the top of the mountain. Yay. And yeah, trees definitely help the profile of the mountain feel less awkward and ungainly. In conclusion, if you're having problems with your landscaping, add more plants. Asterisk. YouTuber is not responsible for the cases in which the addition of more plants does not, in fact, help your builds. Apply user discretion to your designs. And while I'm stuck back in my base, waiting for an ambiguous time of day to set time to morning, I'm going to make a fishing rod. Because as I mentioned, my horse has gone uh, lord knows where doing lord knows what. And also, I have located a village. So there is the chance of me fishing up more saddles, and there is also the chance of me uh, fishing up actual fish and taming a cat. I have the distinct feeling like that's not a great spot for me to go fishing. There we go, I should hopefully actually be able to see the barber uh, go sploosh sploosh this time. Come on, barber. 
Well, that was not the junk item I was hoping to fish up. But we can have a cute little lily pad in my tiny pond. And there are still angry pillager noises. Check. And check. Which means I'm about to continue exploiting the power of back doors and boats and never actually fight a pillager. Ever. Why do I keep getting lily pads? I take it back. Can I go back to getting lily pads instead of water bottles? Going fishing, I will admit, is not what I first thought I was going to use this mineshaft area for. But it's a lovely multi-purpose mineshaft. And in addition to everything else I use it for, I can also apparently go fishing without having to leave the sanctuary of my base. Hmm. Ah, good morning. Did you ever wake up in a strange village? Okay, actually a familiar village, but you ever wake up having no clue how you got to the village you're in? Feeling like you've slept for an entire month, and then have to deal with the sudden appearance of pink trees? Or is that just a me thing? Hey, farmer! Granteth me more emerald. Thank you. So I'm just going to ignore the fact that birch leaves are now pink. How long has that ruined nether portal been there? Has that been there the entire time? I, I am confused. Because I feel like that was- that that's new. I feel like I would remember having seen they ruined nether portal. Well, uh... That is some entertainingly bad loot. my doggo uh, somewhere over here and I'm pretty sure that one of the other reasons I was out here with uh, collecting emeralds to bring to the villages I also have some fish on me and I'm pretty sure I saw some cats sneaking around the far village and I'd feel so much better with a cat to protect me from creepers now yeah, we uh, skulk around these backwoods here for a bit looking for kittens And then we get to do the uh, incredibly frustrating dance of how do I tame a cat in Minecraft. Because I need to be at the right range. If I'm not close enough, the cat does not register that I have the fish. If I'm too close, the cat gets spooked. And I'm pretty sure that even sneaking still spooks the cat. So I have to wait here patiently for the cat to come to me on its terms. And as you might be able to tell from my continuous monologue, patience is not a thing I am good at. Also, uh, I am about to spook the cat quite thoroughly because sun is setting. And that means it is time for me to go uh, borrow a villager's bed. Yay! Diamond pants. Cats, now come on, one of you, please. Accept my offering of fish. Please? Stop making plaintive meowing noises if you're not going to put up with me going over and feeding you, cats. This is cruelty. Okay, after the exercise of taming these cats, I'm going to see if I can get a breed pair of cats so that I never have to tame a wild cat again. How many Minecraft days does it take to get a cat willing to accept fish from me? Answer, too many.
I can't turn around to feed you without terrifying you. Yay! I have no idea how this work how that worked. Cats confuse me. Thank you. Oh, yay. Ah, oh, you're the best. Isn't she just the sweetest? Sweetest little thing. Now I recall there being a cat. Now I have to wait for the cat to come to me on its own terms. Sneaking on up will still spook it. You are not a cat. You do not get any fish. Go away, chicken. And I just spoke to the cat. Or maybe I didn't. That, however, did. Uh, I tried. Come back, I still have the fish for you. I now have two cats. Let's see if I can turn this into having three cats. Yay! I have three cats and a dog. And this is perfect. Now let's go home. Get out of the water, dog. Please. And my cats should be following me. None of my pets are told to sit. So, presuming I understand how Minecraft pet behaviors work, I just start sprinting towards home, and they all follow me. One of them follow. Where are the other two cats? Ah. I may be having some problems with them going to sleep on treasure chests. And now we move nice and slowly down the hill so as not to injure any of the cats. And so as to minimally injure myself. Which is probably more important given this is a hardcore world, but uh Cats! Okay, my house looks weird in pink, but I like it. Birch trees. The sacred pink trees. <laughs> Splendid. We'll have to plant even more of them. Now, uh, all of my cats get to sit at home for a bit. Because you're a tiny little kitten, and I don't feel justified in taking a uh, baby kitten away from its uh, family. And I want to have a pair of stay-at-home cats. So, we're about to go looking for trouble. Me? My hat? My goodest boy? And a cave, other than the one under my base... Because something, something, uh, aquifer.
And also, because something something, I'm starting to get the sneaking suspicion that I do not have any glowberry under my base. Just the three of us, and the hunt for glowberries. And we're taking this pilgrimage on north, because I will later be doing pilgrimages to both west and east, and I don't want to spoil that for myself. Ooh, surface coal. Hang on. There was surface coal here the entire time, and I had all that frustration on day one? Ah. And I'm willing to accept that my current going looking for trouble might result in me being outdoors overnight. It's not great. But I am armored up. And the thing about Lush Caves is that they are safer than the other caves, but they're still not safe. And a lot of my uh, caving habits are adapted for a uh, full prot with an elytra so I don't die to falling damage sort of things, that is not quite the gear I have. That said, even without a diamond chest plate, I am rocking some decent armor value. Because I've replaced a bunch of my butter armor with not butter armor. Hackles maniacally in diamond! <laughs> not enough maniacal, maniacal cackle, but it'll do. And lush caves are a lot brighter, but they're not mob proof. And then being a lot brighter and a lot more accessible means that I can see things from a farther distance, but it also means that one gets complacent. And complacency is a dirty word. Uh, speaking of complacency being a dirty word... Powdered snow is a thing that exists in 1.18. Uh, I am suddenly incredibly terrified and am going to be punching a lot of snow. I don't need to punch all the snow, I just need... And now, I suddenly no longer need to be terrified of the uh, powdered snow while I'm going hunting. I just need to remember to change my boots back to the right set of boots before heading underground. Oh, and while I'm stealing blatantly from villagers... Fine now. Well, I have a Silk Touch Gold Hoe, which isn't quite what I wanted, but... Actually, can I move a, uh... Beehive with a Silk Touch Hoe... And, uh... Silk Touch the Beehive that way? Ah! Lava Lake! I would walk 500 blocks, and I would walk 500 more just to be the Minecrafter that walked a thousand blocks to find some gosh darn uh, glowberries. I feel like at the rate I'm going, I will trip over a woodland mansion before I find one of the three basic cave types. Well, free diamond. Okay, uh, it's not a woodland mansion, but I did find a pillager outpost. That would be really useful if I had the first clue how to build a raid farm. 
how on earth do I keep finding ruined nether portals, but not any sign of a lush cave? And now, to potentially annoy the hell out of the poor bees attempting to do science. However, I want to wait for the bees to come home for the night, because I want a beehive full of bees. Fuzzy, fuzzy. Not a beehive full of nothingness. And disappointment. I'm, I'm really sorry, bees, but in the name of science, we're going to find out whether or not a silk touch hoe still works for uh, picking up beehives. Yay! Ooh, I even got the achievement. Because I'm pretty sure that advancement is a full, uh, with three bees inside. Well, that's a mountain. That's a right, Im okay, that's slightly less impressive a mountain than I was initially pictured. I see dripstone. It's not the lush cave I was looking for, but infinite lava. So, goodbye remaining durability on that axe. Ripstone is my new best friend. I am strongly tempted to just take the seed for this world and go ask one of the uh, lovely chunk finders for where is my nearest lush cave. Just to check to see whether or not there are any lush caves that exist within uh, 5k of my uh, base. Is that not the most beautiful uh, wood to walk through? Nice white wood, nice pink leaves. Uh, the sacred birch forest. Okay, time to check my cords, because I do not recall seeing a dark oak forest on my way out here. Oh, I'm going the way the wrong way. Oh boy, I got turned around. Decided I was going to set back towards home, and then, uh... Didn't. Also, I've apparently been going south instead of north the entire time. Well, that was a very futile search for glowberries. But I will take the uh, spoils of my trip, including diamond some pointed dripstone, and a bee's nest. And my first silk touch tool. Might not have been what I wanted, but it wasn't a bad find. And with that, I will bid you adieu. See you all in the next episode.